I would like to thank Attila the Q for sending me this story. And here we have yet another individual who is mad at Tamika Mallory and the other women at that women's march because they will not denounce Minister Farrakhan. Now, this woman's name is Teresa Sh Teresa Shook. Now, the only thing I'm shook at is the fact that in her appearance physically, she looks like Lurch from the Adams family. That's the only thing that shakes me about Teresa Shook. And it says that she was the founder of the Woman's March. And she said that she has turned her back on Tamika Mallory and others because they are supporting Farrakhan and they are calling on them to resign again I say I hope that Tamika Mallory and the other women involved who are not denouncing Minister Farrakhan stand firmly on their ground they didn't get Alyssa Milano to shake them down and I hope they don't get her to shake them down either this is absolutely ridiculous and they're using the same talking points that Mr. that um, Louis Farrakhan Minister Farrakhan is this anti-Shemitic individual they keep saying it over and over and over again, and they can never prove that what he said was false. They're just mad because he said it. Now, we've had white people go in and shoot up a synagogue filled with people who are quote unquote Jewish, but they're mad at a black man for saying something about them. Now, let's weigh out which is worse, a mass murder or some words rooted in facts. Let them tell it it's the latter that's worse than the former. I'm going to go ahead and read this article coming from the Atlanta Black Star. It says the original founder of the Women's March has called on the organization's four co-chairs to step down from their posts for allowing anti-Semitic and hateful racist rhetoric to tarnish the organization's platform. Founder Teresa Shook on Monday penned a lengthy Facebook post blasting board members Bob Bland, Tamika Mallory, Linda Sarser, and Carmen Perez, arguing that they should resign after steering the pro-women's movement off course. I have waited hoping they would write the ship Shook wrote, but they have not. In opposition to our unity principles, they have allowed anti-Semitism, anti-LGBTQIA. Hold on. What, what is QIA? Like they, I swear, they keep adding more letters to that organization than the Lord allows. Anyway, sentiment and hateful racist rhetoric to become a part of the platform by their refusal to separate themselves from groups that espouse these racist, hateful beliefs. I call for the current co-chairs to step down and let others who lead, I'm saying let others lead who can restore faith in the movement and its original intent. To be honest, that whole movement is toxic in nature, even if they were to remove the people that they want gone. It'll still be poisonous. So I don't know what she's talking about. But the only reason I'm really sticking with Tamika Mallory and those others is because they're standing firm on their square and they're not allowing them to to budge them. But really, I could really care less. But with this, I'm 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 with them on this one. The de de the declaration comes just weeks after actress and activist Alyssa Milano distanced herself from the organization, refusing to speak at Women's March 19. Well, Alyssa Milano needed to distance herself anyway because. Um, she's phony and she's fake anyways. Uh, she said, unless Mallory and Sarsa condemn nation of Islam leader, Louis Farrakhan, who she alleges has a history of making homophobic and anti-Semitic remarks. Well, Alyssa Milano, you have a history of making subliminal racist remarks about black people and no one has said anything about you. Uh, that's just anytime there's a, any bigotry or anti-Semitism in that respect, it needs to be called out and addressed. Milan, Milano told LGBT magazine, The Advocate, I am disappointed in the leadership of the Women's March that they haven't done it adequately. Well, Alyssa didn't, uh, what's her name? Your former Charmed co-star, wh uh, what's her face? That damn Sinead O'Connor, uh, doppelganger, uh, Rose McGowan called you out a couple months ago for being phony and fake. And you're still doing it now, being phony and fake. Mallory came under fire early this year after attending a Savior's Day speech by Farrakhan in which he declared the powerful Jews are my enemy. Mallory, Perez, and Sarser have all been criticized for their support of the Islamic leader in the past. When he said that, was he lying? Even some white people would agree with that. But because he said it. It's a problem. But see, the thing is, they have been coming after Minister Farrakhan for years and they're mad because they can't get to him. He has a nation 
that so that's not only supports him but protects him and they can't break through that barrier they are probably just counting down the days and chomping at the bit when they find out that he's dead i'm just saying Sarcer jumped to Mallory's defense amid the backlash, writing, I won't sit back while a strong, bold, unapolog unapologetic, committed black woman who risks her life every day to speak truth to power, organize and mobilize movements is questioned, berated and abused. In the end, the co-chairs failed to denounce their alleged ties to Farrakhan, despite mounting pressure from activists within the movement. On Monday, the organizers responded to Shook's Facebook post saying, saying the founder had commented on the matter irresponsibly. Today, Teresa Shook weighed in irresponsibly, as have other organizations attempting in this moment to take advantage of our growing pains to try and fracture our network. Groups that had benefited from our work but refused to organize in accordance with our uni unity principles clearly have no interest in building the world our principles envision. They continued, we are imperfect, we don't know everything, and we have caused harm. At times we have responded with hurt, but we are committed to learning. We will continue to work through the good and the bad, the impact and the harm of building an intersectional movement that our daughters and our daughters' daughters can be proud of. There goes that intersectional word again, which I have claimed does not work. Despite weeks of controversy, the, con the organizers said they are grateful for Shook and for people who have been with us for the past two years, wrestling with the challenges and opportunities of what we are trying to build. Like I've said before, Minister Farrakhan has more power than a lot of people believe. The fact that this guy can say one thing that they feel is deemed hateful or harmful, which it is not, because this man did not declare war on that community. He did not say he hated them. He did not wish death upon them. Yet you had a white guy who did actually do that and wished death upon him and actually did it. I'm still trying to figure out how Minister Farrakhan is this dangerous boogeyman. But like I said, they've been trying to they've been labeling him that for eons. They, they they've constantly gone after this man forever. But they just cannot get to him. Had this probably been any other black person, probably they would have been able to break them. But they can't get to him and they hate that they can't. So Teresha Shook can take her uh, toucan looking ass and sit her shook ass down somewhere before someone shakes the hell out of her. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.